I'm thinking instead of me standing up here and going just on and on about what a grand and darling man that Vito was, I think it's time we'll be hearing some testimonial from his cherished family. But first, would you be giving us a song, Ruby Girl? You want me to sing now? Sure. And I'm thinking that right now, your father's up there listening. So why don't you sing him one from the heart, Ruby Girl? Sing him one from the heart. Hey, Joe. What? Yeah. Okay, let's hear it for move everyone. Oh, this one. We we had prepared this song for just this moment. Sneezed or something, he'd lose control. No, 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 not that, Joseph. My goodness. <laughs> tell us, tell us the good things. Tell us how your father loved music. You mean you want me to talk? Yes, come, speak about your father. But me, talk about the old man. Yes, go, go. Oh, jeez, um, the old man, um, well, you see, I was real young when I met my father, and <laughs> this is a true story, okay? Uh, he taught my brother and sister about the family business, and um, oh, he gave us all music lessons, and he showed me the best ways of avoiding getting spotted by the feds. So when I'm bringing in the goods from Canada, you know, I don't have to worry. You know, I don't have to worry about my ass getting shot off. And um, the old man, um, oh, he showed my brother Frankie how to work a con so the marks don't even know he's been stung. <laughs> so, um, uh, that, that's what he was like, all right? Uh, thank you. I mean, amen. <laughs> just, Father, that's all I can think of. Don't make me talk more, all right? I was just fine, Joseph. I was just fine. Your father would have been proud. Now... Since Frankie still hasn't shown up, I think it's time we'll be hearing again from Vito's daughter. Ruby. What? <laughs> I just said. Don't push it, Father. Now, Ruby, darling, uh, I know you had a bit of trouble with your father in the past, but so I'm sure you could be coming up with a few nice things to say. Let's be at least giving it a try. Oh, man. I need a stool, stupid. I don't know where it is. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Here, sit. if the old man hadn't squeezed the guy who used to own this joint. You bought me this place? Wake up, Joey. You make it sound like it was a gift. The old man bought this place for himself, used me to run it, and you to supply it. Every week like clockwork, 
Give me the checkbooks and collect the tape. You know who's just holding it for us? If we got paid regular, what's your beef, huh? Jeez. All I know is I work my ass off making him money so he can spend it on her. No, no, Ruby, darling. You're supposed to be remembering the good things. And she can't even come up with a decent coffin for the old guy. Where'd you get this one, Leon? What a cheap looking box. I mean, the old man was a skunk and all, but he certainly took care of you. You know, we'll have to be careful picking it up. Yeah, to pull right through. Well, actually, <laughs> considering Vito's, well, size, we were thinking of maybe not lifting it up at all. Just kind of scooting it out the back. <laughs> Otherwise, I think we need a few more pallbearers. Yeah, I'd say 10 or 20 more for sure. <laughs> but that's for later. That's for later. Right now, I believe we're waiting for Ruby to finish sharing some fond memories of her father. Thank you, thank you, Father. <laughs> okay, okay, I got something. When I was 18, I got caught in my pockets. That's how she got the nickname, Fingers. See, most people think it's because she can play piano, but it's really because she can pick a pocket from across the street. Hey! What? Uh, Ow! You want to call the joke? No, 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 you're doing okay, Ruth. Anyways, the nice thing the old man did was, well, he bought off the judge. He didn't have to, you know. And he always said Marzetti's don't do time. Actually, what I think he always said was, uh, Marzetti's don't get caught. Well, Ruby sure did. Outside of that, I can't remember anything nice the old man did for anybody. He treated Mom like dirt, ran around on her. Yeah, but he waited until she died before he got married again. I thought that was real good, Ann. How? Well, what a... Touching, sorry. Thank you, Ruby. You can please, please be seated. You as well, Joseph, please. Thank you. Now, before the service tonight, I spoke with a dear friend of Vito's, and I'd like to welcome him to share this fond memory that he has with the rest of us. So welcome, Rex. Let's give him a hand. I just wrote a little something in on it. You know, I, I, I first met uh, Vito Mazzelli uh, when I used to shine his shoes. I, I was a shoe shine boy, and uh, it was a real honor to buff his loafers. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so I, uh, back then, he wasn't, he wasn't all that big. Uh, in, in, in fact, we used to call him, you know, Vito the Ponch. Uh, that was what it is. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, but, but he was always eating. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I remember sitting there. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I remember him sitting there while I was doing his shoes and he's chowing down on a cannoli <laughs> yeah. while I was working and, and he'd say to me, uh, kid, I only got one rule. <laughs> I don't like to chatter when my shoes are being shined. You, you got that? And of course, and uh, I says, uh, sure, Mr. Mazzelli, uh, uh, whatever you say. Uh, <laughs> and then he'd put me a good one all across the side of the head. <laughs> Oh, good times. Uh, uh, <laughs> and he said, you know, I, I told you, kid, uh, look, I don't want to hear nothing uh, from you. Just shine them shoes. And you got that? And yeah, of course, uh, you know, I'd say, uh, okay, Mr. Mazzay. And then, boom, I, he'd whack me again. And uh, you, you ain't getting it, he would say, yeah, kid. Uh, just uh, zip the lip, uh, you know. Uh, and, uh, and this time, uh, <laughs> I just got smart and I nodded. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, then he says to me, he says, uh, <laughs> I wrote this down so I can remember. Uh, You're learning, kid. <laughs> he says, uh, now, now I'm going to give you a little quiz. Uh, what is it that I don't like while I'm getting my shoes shined? And, boy, so I'd say, well, you don't like no talking, Mr. Mazzelli. And, and boom, I, you know, I'm, I'm on my ass in the sidewalk. And, uh, and Vito, uh, well, he's laughing to beat the band. Uh, man had a great sense of humor. Uh, well, uh, you know, this would go on maybe 20, 30 minutes. Uh, and, uh, you know, me getting suckered into talking and, and, and him flat-handing me across the side of the head. And, why well, he was something else, this guy. <laughs> you know, and... And to this day, uh, as I'm shining shoes, uh, you know, and I can't remember much anything else, uh, like what day it is and stuff. Uh, you know, I remember Vito, and I have a good laugh. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, 
And, and, and then when I'm dizzy spells, uh, they kind of make it tough for me to keep from falling over into my shoe polish. Uh, <laughs> I think of Vito. Well, guy, I knew that guy like the back of his hand. <laughs> and I'm going to miss him. All right, thanks for letting me talk, Father. I can't do it. I got a job for you. I, I need a little bit of a puff myself. Hey, later, later, later. Careful that. Thank you again for sharing with that. That was just lovely. Just lovely. Oh. And uh, now, if you think you can, Nina. What? I know it'll be hard, darling, but it'll help. Oh, for Pete's sake, how long are we going to have to do this? Why couldn't you get a real freak? Come on, Nina, you promised. Father Francis wanted to do this service. What's the difference anyway? The difference is, if you must know, that a real priest would go around forcing bereavement people to get up and talk about personal type stuff. Now, darling, I know it seems like I'm being cruel, but you got to trust me. It'll help. And besides, all these people are your friends. Don't be afraid to show your feelings. Don't be afraid to cry. We all know how much you are love. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh, man. Shut up. 
right now, Frankie. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're Frankie. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Stop it, Lena. Frankie is a wacko. Frankie is a wacko. Stop, Frankie. Is Stop it. Look what you did. I'll shut up when I'm good and ready, when he's locked in a booby hatch where he belongs. Then you won't go around spying on people, will you, Frankie? When are they going to lock him up and throw away the key? Hey! Don't talk that way about Frankie. He can't help it. This may come as a huge shock to you, Joe, but I truly do not care if he can help it. He's a nut. He's always been a nut, and he'll always be a nut. And he belongs with all the other nuts. <laughs> in the squirrel cage. Hey, he wasn't always like this. He used to be as normal as me. <laughs> Shows up and <clears throat> blast you! 